welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith. And today I just wanted to share an article I found with you guys. I thought it was pretty interesting. It's by a company called Pack Fresh USA. And it says they are the most trusted preservation and packaging brand by Safeguard Brands Inc. And it's talking about the myths and misconceptions surrounding oxygen absorbers and Mylar bags. And it shared some interesting information that I haven't really heard anywhere else. So I thought it would be interesting to kind of share this with you guys. So the first thing that they talk about is true or false, your Mylar bag will look vacuum packed when the oxygen has been removed. And they say that it is false. They say it is a very common misconception that the vacuum packed look is a confirmation that oxygen has been removed. This myth is probably why people seem to think some oxygen absorbers do not work. True, you often will see this effect, but if you don't, that doesn't mean that the oxygen removal process didn't work. It says oxygen absorbers do not absorb air, they absorb oxygen, which is 21% of air. That means roughly one fifth of the air volume will be gone, but four fifths of the air remains no matter how many oxygen absorbers that you use. So that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Because I know myself, I've actually sealed some of these and I've seen some that look more sucked out and more flat than others and then others that still had it. And then I thought I had messed it up and so I repackaged it and then it ended up looking exactly the same. So it's not you, you're not doing anything wrong and it doesn't mean that it doesn't have enough oxygen absorbers in the bag. So true or false, thicker mylar bags work best. And they say this is false. They say thickness can relate to the physical strength of the bag but they're talking about their mylar bags um, will hold weight of two cinder blocks over each square inch because it, because it is biaxially oriented, which makes a grid-like structure for remarkable strength that protects far better than other thicker bags. They say true seven miller, millimeter mylar and other extreme thick mylar bags relatively provide no more oxygen protection than two millimeter mylar because it is only the aluminum on the surface that keeps the oxygen out. Also keep in mind that you will need a 600 watt sealer to seal mylar properly that is seven millimeters thick. So the next question that they ask is true or false? You should check your new mylar bags for leaks. Some may have small holes at a folded crease. They say false. Mylar is one of the toughest flexible materials ever created, but it is not metal. People are more familiar with a lower quality replica of mylar that looks metallic because a separate layer of aluminum has been added. True, mylar is transparent. Normal use such as filling it or moving it will cause tiny breaks in the foil layer that you may sometimes see if you hold it into the light, but don't worry, they're not holes. This happens when all mylar foil films and their barrier properties are not significantly affected. So that's really interesting too, I think. So mylar is actually very tough and it's a flexible material and there is an outer layer apparently to that. So it's not penetrating through the entire bag. True or false, if mylar bags fail the flashlight test, then they are no good. They say this is false. Mylar is transparent and metal has been added to the mylar to increase its barrier properties. People in the past have wondered if light is going to damage their food, and it is true that all forms of energy have some potential to affect matter. True, direct sunlight can have a noticeable effect, but inside a metallicized bag in a cool, dark storage place, there is virtually no effect from light. So that's interesting as well. So that's not true about the flashlight test. I thought this was kind of cool. I just wanted to share it with you guys. So they definitely had some new information on here, stuff that I hadn't heard before. And I'm sure a lot of us have heard some of these myths. I know I have myself. So I thought this was kind of interesting. I will link it in the description box for you guys. So you guys can save it or print it off or whatever you want for your purposes, or you want to just share it out with others. I thought it was interesting information. So if you guys have enjoyed this video today, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.